Alrighty, let's uh, do a little housekeeping. This is Lee Cole, and uh, welcome to my... What is this, Wednesday already? I'm so lost because you're, you're sitting here looking at my uh, website on the, um, on the computer, internetmaverick.com. I'm so lost because of Labor Day, which Monday was a holiday. Let me do a couple of things. Let's do some stuff. Flip the camera. Yes. Awesome. Old guy using technology. <laughs> so I hope you're doing great. I am doing absolutely fantastic. It's nine o'clock here in Atlanta, and uh, I'm already just having a great time. Let me get this, the link for this from Twitter. We will pop it into uh, Facebook and um, LinkedIn, and we'll get going. I hope y'all are doing great. Link location. Give me just a second, and I might sneeze. <coughs> Good Lord, have mercy. I sneezed on a periscope. Alrighty, and let's pop that URL in there. Copy that bad boy. Very, very, very cool. I hope y'all are doing great. And we will pop this into LinkedIn. And we'll get rolling with this puppy. Um, how is everybody? Hope you're doing great. And if you're looking at the replay, make sure you give me plenty of hearts. I uh, do daily scopes. They're all about what I do for a living, which is online marketing. I do internet marketing, network marketing. I also consult with businesses, and I've been doing this full time for about five years. My scopes are raw and unplugged. Okay, look, I haven't even combed my hair yet. Drinking coffee. Got one of my favorite Salt Life t-shirts on. We are ready to rock and roll. What I want to talk about in uh, today's Periscope is the importance of listening to yourself or intuition. Um, I, you know, there, there are so many things out there vying to cloud our judgment, to get in our heads, and to sort of um, prevent us from becoming who we are. Or, or ju ju just to sort of uh, keep us small. And uh, the way to break out of that, you, you might think the way to break out of that or, or, or a lot of culturally acceptable ways that people have of trying to break out of that are things like going to the right school, getting in the right career, uh, having the right house, driving the right car, um, getting the right haircut, having the right boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. And it's all hollow and empty. And the reason it's all hollow and empty is because it's all product of your ego, and your ego is a big fat lie. I hate to tell you that. Uh, actually, I got into my one and only Facebook fight ever over this topic, so I'm pretty passionate about this. But anyway, so how do you access your God given talent? How do you calm down and find out who you really are? How do you actually Figure out what it is you're supposed to do and how to do it. Well, the way you do that, or the way I do that, or and perhaps one way that you might consider doing that is through learning to listen to yourself and learning to listen to your intuition. Now, there's an art and a science to this. Um, the idea of intuition pops up in all religions. Uh, I, I, I know a lot about two religions, Christianity and Buddhism, and um, a little bit about Hinduism, very little about uh, Islam or, anything, or really much of anything else. But in the religions that I've studied, intuition is a big, big deal. I mean, Christ says the kingdom of heaven is within you, and I know that that's going to tick a lot of people off that I said that. And you're going to say, well, Lee, that's not what that means about intuition and all that stuff. And, you know... 
So we'll just roll with that and not worry about that. So the thing is, and, and to use a, a Christian context to this, uh, there, there are several places in the Bible specifically, I think it's in Isaiah, where, or no, no, it's actually, okay, I'm obviously not a biblical scholar. It's either Isaiah or Jeremiah. But anyway, where the prophet, the, the, the uh, person of the, it's either Isaiah or Jeremiah, was listening for God, and it says God wasn't in the storms, he wasn't in the rain, he wasn't in the fire, he wasn't in the hurricane, he was in the still, small voice. Well, you know, it doesn't have to be God. It could, could be however you want to talk about that thing, which I hope that you know, is un unless you're just a totally angry, you know, constipated atheist. But uh, that thing that I hope that you know that is inside of you that is available to guide you, it's quiet. <clears throat> it's still. It's small. It's not loud. And it's going to easily be overshadowed by all the noise in our lives. So how do you access intuition and what can it do for you? Well, you access intuition by getting quiet. You access intuition by learning to control your mind. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about... I'm, I'm holding my hands up here where my brain is, but, you know, that's because in Western culture we think of brain and mind as centered around... Well, the brain is obviously here, but we think of mind as centered around your head. Um, learning to quiet that voice. Learning to trust yourself, there's a biggie. Learning to live without fear, there's a huge one. And if you can go down that path and if you can start to access that voice inside of you, you're going to find out some amazing things. You're going to find out that you can make more correct decisions rather than fewer. You're going to find out that you can take bigger leaps in life, leaps of faith, that will actually work out. And you can find out with, I mean, I, I use this in my business a lot. As a matter of fact, I woke up this morning and uh, been thinking through a large -ish issue in my business and, and it just popped into my head. Oh, I see, that's the solution. Now, the solutions that intuition leads you to for your life, your business, your relationships, your health, often seem to, at least the ones that I'm led to, often seem to be kind of, um, oddly enough, counterintuitive. And that's because we judge, our, we judge the results of our intuition based on what we see. This is a clothespin that I'm playing with. Based on what we see other people do. Well... That never works. You're comparing your insides to their outsides, and you have no clue as to what's going on inside of them. But, you know, we, we say to ourselves, hmm, I wonder if this is the solution to my problem. Then we, I mean, we're, we're humans. We're pack animals. We look at other people and say, well, did he solve that problem like that? Is she solving that problem like that? No, they're not. They're doing something else. They're, they're, they bought that other book on how to lose weight. <clears throat> they didn't uh, listen to their intuition, and it told me to just eat these foods for a while. They uh, uh, did this other thing for a, a business issue or something like that. It's not my solution. Well, you're going to have to let go of that. You're going to have to let go of the comparing thing because your intuition is so powerful yet so specific that it's going to show you what to do with your life, and it's not necessarily going to be the, you know, thing that everybody else looks at you and says, oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, that's it. That's obviously how you solve that problem. I mean, seriously, if you already knew how to solve the problem, you would have solved it. So, okay. And it doesn't matter what it is, your health, your finances, your relationships, you know, whatever it is. If you had already known how to solve the problem, you would have solved it. So that means that uh, your best efforts and your best thinking got you into the mess that you're in or into that problematic area that you're in. So maybe you ought to try something else, like listening to your intuition and saying, oh, now that, I know that's right, it feels right, but man, that's kind of scary. It's kind of counter, counter, counter cultural. It's a little counterintuitive. It doesn't make sense. I, I, I can't connect the dots in my head. When, when intuition comes, it feels like that. You know, the right intuition. You know, when, when you're sitting there listening to yourself, that's what it feels like. It feels very, almost alien. But it's virtually almost always right. The only time it's wrong is when you, when, 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 when you kind of don't listen. I've never known my intuition when I was, when I understood that I was actually listening to my intuition. I've never known it to be wrong. I've often known it to be weird and scary, but I've never known it to be wrong. So, I want to give you permission 
to listen to yourself. I want to encourage you to listen to yourself, and I want to encourage you to listen to yourself in all aspects of your life. Yes, this is a business show, but when you're an entrepreneur like me, you know, so much of business doesn't come out of books. It comes out of your gut feeling, and that's just another word for intuition. Thank you so much. Love you. Love having you on this show. Uh, there also, there's a replay on my blog. My name is Lee Cole. I'm at internetmaverick.com. That's my blog. There's a replay of all my scopes on my blog. Go over there. I've got some cool uh, lists you can sign up to where you can get lots of cool free stuff. And uh, I do this every day, Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.